Praise the Lord. You are welcome to your daily dose of scriptures. Our theme for the month of September is a new name. God will visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our topic for today is sought out. And our Bible text is taken from Isaiah chapter 62, verse 11 to 12. Isaiah 62, verse 11 and 12. Our memory verse is Isaiah 62, verse 12. Isaiah 62, verse 12. It says, And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. When the light of God shines on you, you will be greatly sought after. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, the Bible tells us of John the Baptist that even though he was in the wilderness of Judea preaching, the Bible makes us to understand that the whole of Jerusalem went to him. People from Judea, people from the region all around, all about Jordan. He had a dressing of camel's hair. He had leather girdle. His meal was locust and wild honey. He neither had the best meals nor the best dressing. Yet, people sought him out. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 7 to 9, Matthew chapter 11, verse 7 to 9, when the Lord Jesus was speaking about John the Baptist, he said that what people went to see when they went to visit John the Baptist was not a man clothed in soft raiment because you find that in King's Palace but they went there to see a prophet and someone greater than a prophet so it was not about his attire it was not about his meal yet he was sought out because the presence of God was with him in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 11, 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 11, the Bible tells us of David. When Samuel said to Jesse, are these all thy children? Jesse said, there remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. Samuel said unto Jesse, send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. In other words, even though David was with the sheep. He probably would have smelling like sheep. He may have some bit of feces from the sheep on his body or urine. He may have the smell of the field on his body. He might have been sweaty and dirty from guiding the sheep in the field. But because the presence of God, the light of God shone on him, they had to bring him. And Samuel said that nobody will sit until David arrived. David was sought out. In Genesis chapter 41 verse 14, Genesis chapter 41 verse 14, the Bible tells us that Joseph was sought out. Just like David was in the backside of the desert and Elijah was in the wilderness, Joseph was in the prison. The Bible even says that he was in the dungeon. He wasn't well dressed. He had not even shaven for a while. But he was sought out because there was something that God had deposited in him that Pharaoh required. I'm praying for you. That that will bring about people looking for you for good, the Almighty God will deposit it in your life and make it visible for all to see in the mighty name of Jesus. What about Daniel? In Daniel chapter 2 verse 49, in Daniel chapter 2 verse 49, the Bible makes us to understand that Daniel sat at the king's gate. But that same Daniel was sought out by four kings. 
Nebuchadnezzar sought him out. Belshazzar sought him out. Even Darius sought him out. Every king in Babylon in time of Daniel sought him out. Because there was something in him. The Bible says that there was an excellent spirit in him. The spirit of excellence comes upon you today in the mighty name of Jesus. What you find in the life of all these men is that these men all feared God and were useful vessels in his hands. They were all sought out by reason of the grace of God upon their lives. They all had some bit of disadvantage that probably wouldn't have made them to be sought out. John the Baptist was not well dressed. He was not in the best of places. He was not in the place where you go when you want to go for sightseeing. David was in the wilderness keeping sheep. Joseph was in the prison. Daniel was at the king's gate. Yet, God singled them out. One thing we need to do is that we must fear God and involve him in our daily lives. When we do that, we become sought out. You want the blessings of God to come upon your business so that you can have people coming to patronize you from far and wide. Then you need to fear God and involve him in your daily activities. Our prayer point is, Father, please let your favor shine on me in Jesus' name. Father, please let your favor shine on me in Jesus' name. If you've been blessed by this message, please share it and tell someone about it. If you require prayers or counseling or have some feedback for us, please leave a message and we'll get back to you. God bless you. See you next time.